Three, two, one. Yo, what's good, people? It's Man Like Jamo. Now, we got a little charging cable from the guys at EV Dance Mode 2 Portable Electric Vehicle Charger. The way they've said portable electric vehicle charger makes it feel like this thing can just charge my car regardless of being plugged in or not, but that's not the case. It's basically a granny charger. It says 2.9 kilowatts, so yeah, three kilowatt thing. IP66 rated, 6.1 meters in length, 13 amps. Um, I guess you guys can obviously have a little read of this and all the specs there, if that's really what you want to do. Um, I guess let's get it plugged into the car and see, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's all that comes in the box. Get a nice little bag here kind of thing. If man opens this up, we should get the cable. This should be a pretty easy video, really. All I've got to do is like get this plugged in. Ah, I've got to unwrap this. All right, bear with me a second. Okay, so now we've got the thing mostly unboxed. This is the bit that actually plugs into the car. Love the fact that it's got its own little cap on it. Cause I usually leave this outside in the garden. So can I, can I unbox this with one hand? Let's get it off, come on, we got this, yeah. Okay, boom. So yeah, that bit goes into the car. Light work, it feels quite good quality. Like a tough plastic situation kind of thing. Um, I like this little rubber grip here as well. But most importantly, yeah, it's nice that it comes with a little cap so that if I do leave it on the porch overnight when it's finished charging the car, um, the rain's not gonna get into this. Now, obviously, you've got the main unit as well. This is the bit with the little display there. Um, you've got some, you got some stuff on the back shows you what all of the flashing lights mean. So green flashing means that it's charging. Blue flashing means that the EV is connected and you've got all that kind of stuff there. If you get see a red, that means that there's a problem. Um, yeah, pretty much self-explanatory, to be honest. You just read that and you can see what's going on. And yeah, you got six meter of cable there. So I guess let's get it plugged in and see that it's actually working. All right, all right, let's open up the thing. There we go. Nice, it's actually, it's actually kind of dirty in there, I can't lie. It's actually kind of dirty in here. But yeah, that's, that's the main thing for the AC cart charging. And then in here, we've got the main thing for the combination DC charging. All right, so my current setup is that I have my granny cable just left on the doorstep and it goes through the letterbox like this, and it plugs into the extension cable on the other side. So let's see if this thing can fit through the letterbox. Nah, this one can't fit through the letterbox. That's, that's gonna be hell of a, oh, wait, yes it can. Yay, hey. All right, so that's all plugged in on that side as far as the inside of the house is sorted out. This bit of the cable is quite short, so this bit is going to be hanging from the front door, but you can already see the information that we're getting on the front there. It says 240 volts, no kilowatts at the moment. Um, kind of cool, and I think we can tap this button to do... Okay. Don't know what that does. But it's just, it's just beeped and yeah, okay, whatever that means, all right. Then if we go over here now, go over here, take this off, <laughs> plug that in. And my car should go blue in a second to show that it's, ah, there we go, it's charging. Wicked. Now let's just have a little look on the inside. See what the estimated charging time is saying. It usually takes a while to find out what the charging time is going to be. But yeah, about, that's about right. From 68%, yeah, it'll take about five hours. Usually with the granny chargers, I, I just leave it on overnight. I don't really watch the time like that. Because the car's got such a small battery anyway, I think it's like 28 kilowatts. More time, whatever percentage it's on, even if I'm on like 5%, giving it an overnight charge will get me up to 100% maximum capacity that this car can hold anyway and i'm pretty much on my way so yeah that, that's kind of cool the longer cable is definitely a big shout fam so if my partner's put her car at the front of the house and i'm parking up behind her i can still plug my car in with this longer cable uh so um yeah let's have a little look at what other information is on this thing this thing's gone green now and you can see here it's got information on it. So it's saying 2.84 kilowatts and it's been charging for a minute. And it's, oh, it also shows you how much kilowatts has been used this charging session. That's kind of interesting. 
And I guess this will clear the system and start it all over again. Let me just press that and see what happens. No, it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what that's for. I'll, I'll probably read the instructions. I probably won't, to be honest. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, seems to work. Does the job, charges the car. We're all good. Anyway, people then, if that helped you, if you guys were thinking of copying it just to see if it works, it does work. And it gives you a bit of information as well. Shows you how much the car's been charging. Pretty useful, actually, if you're watching the kilowatts and watching the pennies and stuff like that, isn't it? As we all are, because he lives. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.